noise so we continue to our topic for this uh, chapter assembly so I will cover uh, into this uh, important toolbar so we have here a product structure tool okay movement constraint measurement space analysis and update okay so we go uh, Okay, before we go to Katia environment, so I would like you to download the document, uh, the previous document, uh, this, sorry, this one, eh? exercise assembly. So we will use uh, this uh, exercise uh, assembly for us to do the assembly. Eh? So you download the data here, exercise assembly. And then you need to extract the data first. Okay, so Katia will uh, maybe uh, might be able to read once you extract the file first. Okay, so we can see the drawing here. So we have uh, several components here. Uh, component one, okay, nut. Okay, component two is a wheel. Okay, component three is a frame. Okay, component 4 is a slot square and then the last one is component 5 is a bolt so as you can see here the assembly is look like this alright so we go into our assembly Katya okay again I repeat again on how to uh, go into the assembly design environment okay you go to start okay mechanical design go to a uh, assembly design okay so from here it will come up with a product okay so here we have a product structure okay first of all we can rename our product eh? so our product this one is a uh, let's say we put this one a wheel assembly eh? so we naming our product is wheel assembly eh? so right hand click again properties okay part number let's say we put this one zero 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 one okay underscore uh, wheel assembly eh? wheel assembly okay. and then the revision is uh, revision number one okay up to you so this are only example so we click apply so okay eh? Alright, so I will explain regarding a product structure tools. Eh? So the first icon is a component. Eh? Component, okay, product. This one, if we, if we want to add a product, this one, if we want to add a component, okay, this one is a part. Okay, so usually if we have uh, the existing part, okay, we choose this one. Eh? So this one is a for a new part. Eh? So since we have uh, uh, only uh, existing component so we can choose this one existing component okay we go to our extract file extracted file okay takes time a little bit oh sorry after we click this one we need to click our product assembly okay so it will come out the component here so the component uh, that we extract this one eh? so part one okay so open open take a little time little bit time Right, the first one is a uh, wheel. Wheel. Okay, let's say we want to add the rest of the component again. Put this one, and then we, okay, we can uh, control all, eh? and then we open. 2, 3, 4, and 5 uh, simultaneously. 
right so from here you can see the all component is here eh? okay let's say if you want to uh, add a new component so you click the part okay you put a and you click into the wheel assembly okay do you want to define a new origin at the point of the new part Okay, click yes to define the origin click no to define origin point assembly as the new part origin point so this one click no okay so this new part okay might be you want to create a new part inside this assembly okay so you can rename this one as a new part lah. like maybe a new frame example new frame frame b eh, example eh. okay, part number uh, we can put the one frame b eh. okay apply okay alright so this one if you want to make a product eh? meaning that uh, inside a product they have a product okay you can try okay let's say see they have a product here so inside here you can add on the component inside here okay and then for this one is component okay so part let's say part i want to add a part inside for this uh, product okay no and then after i click this one it will have a part here okay another part okay <coughs> all right uh, under still under uh, product structure tools so i go for this one uh, replace component okay usually let's say we for for the frame eh? for this frame okay let's say we want to replace to another frame revision 2 might be okay so what we need to do we do we we just use uh, replace component features eh? So from here, okay, let's say you want this one, and then you choose, uh, let's say a frame revision 2, and then you just open, and then it will be uh, replaced to the latest uh, component. Okay, the next one uh, is a graph tree reordering. So these features for you to rearrange your component inside here okay you how you uh, so how you okay so from this you can move around eh? so let's say the frame you want sorry the boat you want to be the first one eh? so you highlight this one and then use the arrow okay go to the first one and then we put apply sorry uh, the first one here boat then we put apply Okay, so you can see here the bolt become the first component inside our uh, assembly. Eh? Alright. Uh, okay, so this one. So for this one, I will cover into a next video. Alright. See you. Thank you. Bye.